Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Crozier PWO 24 bale auto load by Weekend Farmers Emmerich 10 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map, and this is a nice little auto load trailer. Now, this is um, something very similar to previous trailers 16.06 uh, .06 megabytes to download slots on console. I have Let's put it right here, if I remember. I'll show that to you in a moment. I have three of them, so I forgot to write down the slots. However, let's have a look at it in the store first. So let's go up here, Tools, and we're going to Bail Loaders. So it's a, uh, it's a, it's a modified version of the POW24 base game Bail Loader, which is fine because we have it now an auto load version here it is um it literally takes every kind of bail in the game as far as i know listed is uh supports what kind of bales does it support it supports standard or bail auto load configuration well that's what auto load for round bales up to uh uh let's see up to 180 centimeter cotton four cotton bales around or square heston bales and also the uh it supports the selectable bale capacity add-on and uh, heston bales 180 220 and 240 modded balers yes so literally almost everything in the game liftable bales as well so yeah um I'd be surprised if there was something it didn't pick up. But anyways, maybe the mini bales, it may not. It doesn't list mini bales, so perhaps not those. So we have options, auto load, standard, or bales auto load. So standard, it would be literally just like the base game trailer, no auto load. If you go bales auto load, that's where you have the auto load, auto load function. Wheel brands, Continental, Trailerberg, Michelin, BKT, Vertistein, Nokian, and Lizard. Uh, Continental Trailerberg, you have a standard or standard two, four, three, uh, standard two, three. Michelin, we have a standard and a standard two. And BKT, we also have a few choices there. And well, Vertistein, too, look at that. And Nokian, no. Lizard, no. Mm, Continental, no. Design, we have the standard base design we have design number two and design number three now if you have the auto load function um the only yeah they're all basically operate the same we'll show you that tension belts yes or no um you don't need tension belts if it's auto load but if you want to put something else in there say for example you have this one and you want to put pallets on there as a secondary use, then I would recommend having the tension belts on their main color, all the standard giant color options, rim colors, again, all the same there, and a license plate if you so choose. Back only, okay. It will appear down there. Right, no extra cost for any of those, which is very nice. Twenty. Three, let's see options what did cost us oh the colors color change will cost you that's the only thing uh 23 or 22 300 is uh the final price which is actually pretty good really design doesn't cost us no right um designs yeah there we go all right so let's get into it let's hop into our yes large square bales it takes two of those so let's get our help window on and hook up this uh, this one first. Now this has an this has a few interesting options which we'll go through. And as I said, it's nothing new to this uh, this modder's um, auto load bail system. Now we have. Let's go through the options we have. Stop unloading. Yes. Okay. Operating position transporting operating transporting we have unfold baler that will be be a significant um 
thing, uh, as you will see in a moment, uh, because it's something you need to know to unload once you have loaded up the bales. We also have easy mode and pro mode, R1 and left stick, pro and easy. I will describe the difference between those. Right now we're going to set it to easy because that is the standard operation of most auto load balers. Now, uh, these bales here are liftable bales, liftable round bales that I have purchased. And in order to load, just go L1 and square. We are now in operating position. And as we drive around to it, I have, uh, there we go, it will load them. And it has a fairly generous um, trigger area. Um, you don't have to get super close. So that's easy mode. Now to unload, notice there is no, you can unload the bales, L1 and triangle. But how do you move them off of your, how do you get them off? Well, that's where this comes in. So note here, L1 and up on your D-pad, unfold the trailer. And as that happens, now that it's unfolded, L1, now all of a sudden we have extra, or uh, we have options that weren't there before. And <clears throat> L1 and right stick, we can now move freely the bales let's see r1 we have rotate tilt l1 and r1 right stick tilt and forward and backward backward oh quite a ways backward quite a ways backwards so we have the full range of movement l1 and right stick left uh, up and down and left and right is probably going to be the one that you're going to use the most as it is pretty much um, all you really need most times uh, right stick you might you might use these occasionally and this one if yeah yeah but anyways L1 and triangle again there we go they're down and away you go now L1 and up you can fold it or you can just leave it unfolded if you wish and um, right R1 and right stick is the tension belts and that's it so now you may wonder what about pro mode well pro is a little bit more involved and it um, it kind of is a transition between the easy or full auto load and your non auto load trailer. How is that so? Well, let's go ahead, R1 and uh, L3, toggle work mode. Now we're on pro mode. And if we're at on the pro mode, you may notice that it's no longer picking up or auto loading bales by driving past them why is that well because in pro mode it's as i said it's a bit of a transition you still have to lift the bales up and here and once they're on l1 stop unloading operating position there we go I had to put, uh, you have to set it to operating position. However, if you see here, I'll take another bale and put a place it beside. It's not gonna auto load it from beside. You have to actually place it up onto or very close to as you go there. Yes, so you basically have to lift the bale up to the level of the trailer in order for it to basically auto load. So it's a harder version of auto load. Does that make sense? I hope so. So if you're saying, if you are wondering why, see, we could probably get some of them to, nope, yeah, there we go. We got one to load because it was kind of high enough but to get the yeah we got we got that one but it's going to be very difficult to 
do that if you're if you're struggling with loading these then perhaps you are on pro mode and you need to go l1 r1 sorry r1 and l3 now we're on easy mode and as you can see here all we need to do is drive somewhat close to them and they will load automatically 18 capacity for this one uh, depending on the size of the bales will depend on how many you can fit on your trailer right so how about this design the design that has the sides on it well that works exactly the same way as the other ones we have unload bales we have two large cotton bales as you can see on here but we're gonna have to L1 and unfold the tra trailer in order to unload these bales it will not you will not let you move the bales if it uh, the sides are up on it so here we go L1 triangle there we go triangle again stop unloading now you can and let's go fold the trailer you can load them with the sides up but you just can't move them off um, with the sides on so now okay so let's do one more thing operating position there we go they're in there so what if we switch it to toggle work mode pro so they're still kind of auto loaded on there let's go ahead and open the sides up so unload bales oh we're on pro mode why is that oh that's odd Thought pro mode you wouldn't uh, didn't have the automatic unloading option hmm that's interesting the other ones did um right toggle work mode pro oh, we still have that option okay so just loading so unloading mm, you can still unload automatically like this so only a pro mode on this trailer only means that you have to lift the bales up to load it unloading is still automatic as well we say automatic you still have the option to move things and drop in the pro mode let's try that one more time let's load this up let's see if we can grab a couple just in pro mode there we go we got one we got one to load we got another one to load all right so that's fine let's uh yeah it's giving me the option to move them all right well there you go Oh, lights. It says uh, it has done something to the lights. Lights? Lights look good. Reverse lights? Yeah. No beacons. Right, so I know I've rambled on a bit about an auto-load trailer, which is about because, well, this is really the only mod that has released today so far. So uh, there you have it. Uh, hopefully that explains everything if you have any questions i will try to answer them please leave a question or a comment in the comment section below and there you go the crozer pwo 24 bale auto load by weekend farmers americ 10 on farming simulator 22 and slot counts i know you're going to ask about that or perhaps you will Let's see if I can find it here. Slot counts is six, so six slots only on console. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.